Hello everyone, this is Big Little Railroad here, and today I'm going to do another review. This is a special one. I have another review that I'm also currently working on, but I need to do some more editing, but this is a little quick one. Today I will be reviewing three items. The first one is this Lionel Archive Minneapolis and St. Louis boxcar. The second one is a 3472 operating milk car. And the third one is a Lionel Lines box cab number 520. <clears throat> So first, let's start up with the Minneapolis and St. Louis. Um, some of you might look at this design, especially for those of you who are aware of post-war trains, and might look at this and say, hey, this is a archive version, and it is. In 2013, Lionel released their archive series where they introduced a lot of freight cars and accessories and locomotives, but the one that really caught my eye was this interesting-looking boxcar. I got it for Christmas from my uncle, along with the Turbo Missile Launch flat car from 2015 that I might review sometime. Now the backstory with this locomotive is that during the uh, before, Lionel only had a handful of boxcars and most of them were operative, like the Baby Ruth boxcars especially. But at one point in 1953, Lionel decided to release their own scale model boxcars. In 1953, of course, they introduced their, their first four of the 6464 series of boxcars. 6464-1 Western Pacific, 6464-25 Great Northern, 6464-50 Minneapolis and St. Louis, and 6464-75 Rock Island, which is a big step up, and they were regional railroads besides the other roads that were popular that Lionel had made, including New York Central, Pennsylvania, and Santa Fe. The original one was actually painted Tuscan red with white. I don't have the Minneapolis and St. Louis, the original, of course, but I do have this version. Now, the reason that Lionel probably made this archive version is to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the 6464 boxcars, since they were originally made in 1953, and this is based off of a prototype version of the boxcar. In the 1953 catalog, they introduced set number 2201WS that had the 665462 Pacific, and in some versions they had the 685462 uh, 462, 464 engine, which I believe was based off the Santa Fe, and the the one the picture in the catalog shows that it's in green with a black door, not Tuscan with white. And theories speculate that either it's because of Auburn model trains who had their version of Saint of uh, scale model box cars, a small competitor to Lionel, or possibly it was a paint sample. Now this. One, like I said, it was made in 2013, and this is based off of the supposed prototype, and I think it's very fitting. Now, on first inspection, you can see, uh, due to the lighting in my basement, you can't really see it, but it's meant to be colored in a, in a dark green. When I took it out of the box, everything seems to be in order. Uh, the trucks here are in this nice black color with the these little metal pieces. I never understood those. If anyone can understand that, please post in the comments. But compared to another bit of rolling stock that I have, my 6456 Lehigh Valley Hopper, you can see that the differences are staggering. One has one that's kind of cut out, the other one has one that's in. As you can see here, now, as you can see here with the writing, it says Minneapolis M and STL, which stands for Minneapolis and St. Louis. Uh, it says 6464, the most legendary series of boxcars built by Lionel. New in 1953, for 1953, Minneapolis and St. Louis, the Peoria Gateway, built by Lionel with the Lionel logo. And on the other side, it's basically the same thing. There was, There is nothing in inside the boxcar. It's essentially meant for display. Well, not really display, but it's still a nice little boxcar nonetheless. And like my good friend Cookout, who reviewed his Amfleet passenger cars in the Cato GG1, this is the one time where there has possibly been a review of this specific version of the boxcar. Um, in, a, in a future video, I will be looking at my 3472 and 520, but for now, I just wanted to hold you over, guys, so I hope you enjoy this small little review. And what my personal opinion about this locomotive, uh, about this boxcar, I like it. I like its unique style and its nice color with the uh, green with gold lettering. I mean, I do like the original 6464-25, I mean, 50, excuse me, but this one is unique in its way, and if anyone can find one for a good price on eBay or Amazon, I would recommend this. 
And if you're a collector who's willing to pick up the original 6464-50, I would also recommend that as well. In fact, pick up any 6464 boxcar you can find. Uh, according to the Greenberg's guides, uh, it's about $20 for a good condition and $75 like in great condition with box. All right, then. So I hope you guys enjoy this, this small little review, and I will see you later.